pressure that came out early and forced them into the 12 turnovers in the first half and, and seven of those were, or first quarter and seven of those were steals. And then in the, and for the first half, you talk, forced them into 20 turnovers total. Talk a little bit about uh, your pressure defense there. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, that's that's been, you know, kind of our calling card all year. You know, it's where a lot of our offense comes from. Um, you know, and with players that are able to do it, Jay and Mariah, that are as aggressive, you know, as they are, you know, it, it, it makes it, you know, easy, you know, to to allow that to be kind of what, what drives us. It allows our energy to get going. Um, it allows us to get some easy ones to get started at the beginning of games. Um, yeah, I mean, that was a that was a huge part of it. Um, kind of got us going, got some, got us some good looks at the basket, got us to the free throw line, and it's easy to kind of get rolling off that. Yeah, and that's what uh, they also going to do. You guys did a great job uh, in converting off of your fast break and off of your turnovers and running your transition game and, and your offense. You had 27 uh, points off of your turnovers out of your transition offense. Yeah, we talked about that at halftime, um, you know, that we were able to get those turnovers, get those easy ones, um, you know, and then also limit our turnovers. You know, we, we know they're similar to us in the way that they played and the way that they've kind of gotten their offense throughout the year. Um, is, is a lot similar to us, and so we were able to not only get points off turnovers ourselves, but keep them from getting that, you know, right back. David, how did it feel, you know, to come out and, and have your uh, pressure defense be so successful there to start in the, in the first quarter, in the first half? I mean, it felt great. Um, defense is um, my favorite thing to do, um, and we, Kyle, have always been good at defense. That's been our main thing. That's how we um, disrupt teams. We disrupt it by um, showing the best players um, are half-court defense, so we just, and we really, we really practice on that too. So when we start off with our defense clicking, everything else seems to click too. And Mariah, I don't know if you realize it or not, you're back there kind of like what I used to call the eraser on uh, that pressure defense, because if it does get beat, you tend to erase it. And you uh, set the uh, Kentucky 2A championships record with most blocked shots in a game with seven. So congratulations on doing that. How did it feel to be back there and be that eraser? Um, this is my first time playing in the 2A state championship, so um, I just keep my head straight up and they throw it right to me every time. <laughs> <laughs> I love the modesty. You did a great, you all did a great job back there on, on the back of your press, and especially just the whole game. Uh, Coach talked a little bit about it, and that's a, uh, you're, you've got some experience. Like she said, people think you guys are the two-time defending champions this tournament, but that doesn't mean that these players have been the players, that, I know Jay played a little bit, but yeah. that, but that have been the other players that are in that situation. And, and to come out of this tournament situation, this environment, to get off to a good lead. And But I thought your girls, especially, and you as a team, did a great job. With how about maintaining focus throughout the game once you get that big lead in this situation? Yeah, we, we talked about that at halftime. Um, you know, that was that was one of the main things we talked about at halftime, you know, was, was continuing the focus. We had to make sure we did the same thing in the second half that got us there in the first half. Um, you know, Hart County's a good team. You know, they've won a lot of games, they score a lot of points, and they can score in bunches, they can score quickly. Um, you know, and I think they probably heard me say about 10 times in this game, we gotta protect our momentum. And we talked about doing that by not turning it, up, turning it over and not taking bad shots. And you know, in that situation, I think that's key. Um, and we've got great leadership to, you know, keep everybody on track, you know, in that scenario. And I thought they did a great job. Uh, talk a little bit about it uh, to you two ladies. Uh, now it, that you are the ones that are playing, because you know the history of your school and the pride of your school, your girls' basketball program and success, especially in this tournament. But what does it feel like to you being two of the main players, the main players that are on the team to advance to the final four of the state tournament? Um, it feels it feels really humbling, um, and I wouldn't want to go to any other school. Kyle has been the best program, um, the best group of girls. We're really close, the coaches, everything, the atmosphere, um, and it's just it's really good off court. Like that that's the best part of it. So when you get to get on court and get to carry the bonds, um, the laughs, the struggles, it all just kind of it goes into the wins and it goes into what we do. Kyle's like the first basketball player that I've been with that's like this close and we play so well together. And we like, we all have chemistry even though like we might not like know each other that well, like, but we have chemistry. And uh, coaches, as you move on now, you've had the experience of being here with your two championships. You know now that you're, you're getting ready for the final four. You have a short turnaround now that you're playing back to back to back. 
Uh, how do you feel about your next game coming up playing the winner of Hopkins County Central and Bellevue? Yeah, you know, I mean, we've looked at their schedules. We're not super familiar with either one. Um, they'll have a lot of common opponents, really. Um, you know, we've, we've kind of looked a little bit at their schedule. We'll get to see them here in a couple hours. Um, you know, but this is fun. You know, it's exciting to, you know, turn around, try to prepare, get ready for another game. It's a good atmosphere. It's a good experience. Um, you know, and it's, it's an exciting weekend. You know, we're ready to move on. And just uh, how do you feel like you feel as you get ready? You ready? They're ready to go? Yeah. And I, I want to give you a chance to brag on because I've, I've enjoyed watching you know, these two players, especially this team. Tell us how much uh, Jada wound up having a, a set 14 points. Uh, or not, sorry, I'm calling stat sheet. Uh, 18, she wound up having 18 points, uh, six assists, uh, four steals. Uh, eight of 12 from the field, and like I said, Mariah, she went up six of eight from the floor, uh, had nine rebounds and seven block shots and 14 points. Just how much do these two ladies mean to you, or yeah. the rest of your team? I mean, it makes it makes the job easy a lot of times. You know, it's it, with teams like with a team like that, like Hart County, that they pressure, they get a lot of their points off turnovers. You know, it. It kind of, I can sleep well at night knowing that a lot of times we're not going to struggle a lot of their scenarios. And then on the other side of the ball, you know, teams that have, like them, that their strength is a point guard that is, a, as, as far as Jay goes, is a point guard that is their leading scorer. You know, I, I also know we've got her on the other end too. And so, you know, a lot of times that, that gives us a lot of confidence going into scenarios and games like that. Um, we know those are the type of players we've got to stop. And then, you know, Mariah, Mariah's been a great addition. Um, her attitude, all of that, um, you know, she's, she's finishing, she's playing well, she's finding her groove. Um, you know, it's, it's a great group. It's a great group. I'm lucky to coach these girls, um, and they're, they're a blast. Okay, Blaine, would you like to add anything else? <laughs> Thank oh, you. and by the way, it is Jay. I'm so sorry, sorry, sorry. I, mean, I was fixing to get ready to apologize to you as I said that. I apologize to you, Jay, for uh, pronouncing your name incorrectly. I, my last name always gets pronounced a little <laughs> correctly, too, so I have no way you feel, and I do apologize for that. Thank you. Good. I'll make sure you get it right tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys, and good luck. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Congratulations.